Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. I decided to give you a break for today and not play the video that I am playing for the rest of the new year. Today, we're going to do the first randomizer Wednesday. Yay! And this, I'm doing this in the style, totally in the style of Champagne from Champagne's Corner. I think that this, I know that Ren makes some sets. This is something that started taking off last year and I really enjoy it because I love the random part of it and it decides what the money is going to go into. I am doing two sets of randomizers. So one will be every other week. So one week it will be prop money and all of the savings challenges completed with prop money will be going into the sloths. And on the other ones, I will be doing randomizers with cash. And this, these monies will be going to stuff my low priority sinking funds. A lot of them are going to go into vacation and catch all because a lot of them are going to stay in cash. So if you have not seen the way that these are done, then I welcome you to go and check out Champagne's Corner. She, like I said, the way that she does this is just wonderful and I enjoy it. I want to welcome all of my subscribers, old and new, and I hope that you are having a wonderful new year so far. And let's get started on this. Now, the way the champagne does it, I'm going to move this binder aside, is she uses $50 in ones for me, for my uh, prop money that's going to do my sloth. It's only getting $40. That's fine. What she does is she rolls the dice and then she puts money into that savings challenge. At the end of that, she exchanges it all for fives. And the fives are actually the money that she has allocated for the savings challenges that week. The ones are just ones that she continues to recycle. I'm going to do that as well. However, for the first week, my ones have to be the actual money I stuff into the envelopes because I would need to have at least $40 worth of change to make in these envelopes in order for me to use up that 40 and have the starting cash again. So for the first time out, it's going to be all prop money in, in these and I won't consolidate until the second time. Okay, well, I'm going to put these things aside real quick and let's go through the envelopes. I think I have enough room at the first one I have is this little cow, and this is from Steph's on a Budget. I am not going to wipe these out and change them because it will make the coloring look weird, but these are going to be only $2 each because I'm doing $2 each time I do a challenge, so I want to keep it that way. These are from Wren over at Mischief Manage Budgets, Mischief Budgets on Etsy, and these are her taco challenge. Had to have that. This is a savings challenge that I made specifically for this because it's low dollar amounts. And then I have one from Tracy at Golden Girl Budgets. This is a color one. You can see I have some that have ones underneath and ready to go. This one is from Renee over at Budget, well, Bird Budget Nerd Co. on Etsy, Reinventing Renee on YouTube. And this is just another one that I've created. I love to make savings challenges. You're always going to find challenges that I have created when I do things. And I am actually really debating maybe trying to get a very, very, very low volume Etsy store opened in 2024. Mostly just as a way that I can get challenges to you when occasionally... I make one that everybody loves. I do occasionally get requests for my challenges, but I have no way to sell those. That hasn't even been an option. I have to get my uh, post office box first, but I'm doing that at the end of January. So these are all the challenges. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to roll a dice each time. I'm going to put $2. So number three gets two. Number one gets two. Number one gets two. Number five gets two. On different months or at different times, I will always uh, mix these up. Therefore, if like the dice favors one number, it's going to be um, doing it randomly for the challenges. Boy, two is getting a lot. And four gets two finally. And six, oops, now I'm to my ones. And three gets two. And six gets two. And one gets two. And two gets two. 
And two gets two more. I think two's the winner today. And one gets two. And one gets two. And three gets two. Okay, so that ends the part of that. So now I'm going to take and we're going to set aside these. Like I said, usually this would be when champagne goes and consolidates, but I'm not going to be consolidating today because it's my first one. Although I definitely could with this one because it got so much money, but that's okay. So my cows from Steph's on a Budget, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten dollars today. I am going to color this in. I'll be right back. All right, it is all done. It's going to go back in this envelope. $10 starts this challenge from Steph's on a Budget. I don't mind ever doing something like making these twos instead of fives. It doesn't matter to me. I still get to see it colored in, and in the end, I'm just saving money. Okay, the next one we're going to do is Taco Tuesday, or just taco, I think. And this is from Wren over at Mischief Manage Budgets. And this is getting two, four, six, eight. 9, 10, 11, and $12 for this one. Oh my goodness. In this one, I'm going to do different rows in different colors. I'm going to color these all in and be right back. All right, $12 starts this one with Wren. And that is, again, as I've said, Mischief Managed Budgets. Mischief Budgets, I believe, on Etsy. The next one is one of my own. And for this one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six in here today. I'm going to go ahead and color two of these threes since I won't always have enough to color those. And I want it to always end up without leftovers. Okay, $6 going into this one from me. Little teddy bears. And the next one is from Tracy at Golden Girl Budgets. And of course, I want each icon to be $2. Goes without saying. All right, let's do some grapes. All right, this challenge only got $2 today, but that's okay. It is started, and look how pretty those grapes came out. I just have decided I'd rather do a lot of editing and make sure my coloring is neat rather than have my coloring be gross looking. All right, $4 from Reinventing Renee, and because this is Renee's challenge, I'm going to mark it off the way that Renee, Renee, the way that Renee does. And she always likes to take her markers. And these I'm going to do this way. I can actually do it with a thicker one because these are bigger. So I need four of these. All right, $4 in Reinventing Renee. And all of this, as I said, when I complete a challenge, I will go through and I will put it into my slots. And two, three, four, five, six. I am going to do another two from this. 
the same way I did last time. I'm going to do these threes. I'll talk during this one. Um, I really like these randomizer Wednesdays because they're just they're just fun. So even though on this one each savings challenge is not assigned to a different category, it doesn't matter because I'll finish these savings challenges at different times and that will be bringing in a lot of variety into my mini savings challenges, which I love. And then each time that I'm done, I can go in and stuff a sloth right on this video when I finish that challenge. That way it keeps me from having to sit there on my videos that I do the sloth and roll the dice like eight, nine, 10 times in order to get the total money that I have allocated for that in there. There you go. So two, three, four, five, and six. Next time I will be consolidating these and getting uh, larger bills in there. That will just make it easier. This is prop money. I should probably take, probably gonna cut these off. I'm gonna do that after the video because money, prop money just doesn't fit well into these envelopes. All right, and then I'll put those back into here and I am so excited. I have got my first randomizer Wednesday started now. This is Randomizer Wednesday. It may temporarily go to be posted on Tuesday. I'll still call it Randomizer Wednesday. That's okay. And for the reason for that, I will talk about in a later video. I hope you are all having a wonderful week. And thank you so much for stopping by today. If you like the video, throw a like on it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. That'll just help my channel to keep growing in 2024. And until the next one, bye.